This question, I imagine, is going to get a lot of dislikes because of how absolutely absurd it is. It it sounds like it's not even MCAT quality. It's essentially what you'd see on like some bullshit undergrad biochemistry exam, maybe. Um, but this is asked on one of the new NBMEs for step one. I'm not going to say which one, but it's 25 through 30. And therefore, it's something you need to know for the exam. Okay, it's not our opinion that matters. Uh, but this, they literally just ask a one-liner question. So this is something you need to know. So the synthesis of glucosamine, you say, what the fuck is glucosamine? Like, maybe sounds familiar, but like, what is that? We actually need to know that. Apparently, fructose 6-phosphate from glycolysis, if we combine that with glutamine, so that's our answer here. I'm not going to make this a 24-minute clip, just getting to the fucking point. If we combine uh, fructose 6-phosphate with glutamine, we can produce glucosamine 6-phosphate and hence glucosamine. And glucosamine is a precursor to extracellular matrix molecules, glycoproteins, glycolipids, proteoglycans. I looked up glucosamine as far as like, are there medical uses for it? Um, it's not prescribed for anything. It can be offered as an alternative treatment for patients with intractable osteoarthritis, uh, but there's no proven efficacy or significance using it. It's more just, it's a precursor in one of the pathways for biochemistry. Okay. So, and this is assessed on 25 through 30 NBMEs. Not my opinion. I think it's stupid. Okay. But it's something you need to know. Uh, 6-phosphogluconolactone. This is actually the product of the G6PD glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase reaction. When we, when we have glucose 6-phosphate from glycolysis and then G6PD, you've heard of that enzyme, the deficiency X-linked recessive, but that enzyme will convert G6P into 6-phosphogluconolactone. And that pathway, the HMP shunt, is just for the purpose of producing NADPH, a reducing agent, and you need that to stabilize your RBC membranes in particular. And there's a bunch of uh, substrates that, that, that will also get synthesis of that you don't need to know for USMLA. Uh, cystothionine, this is just a precursor to cysteine. So when we, have, when we have homocysteine, if we have a condition called homocystinuria, it's due to a deficiency of uh, cystothionine synthase sometimes, okay? Vitamin B6 being a cofactor. I just threw that in there as a distractor, same as 6-phosphogluconolactone. But cystothionine, just, um, it's a precursor to cysteine in the synthesis pathway. And glutamate, okay? Just a distractor here, because glutamine is what we combine with fructose 6-phosphate to make glucosamine. And then n glutamate is a positive allosteric regulator of carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1, which is the rate-limiting enzyme of the urea cycle. Okay, so the purpose of the urea cycle is to convert ammonia and the breakdown of amino acids, ammonia, into urea, the latter being 10,000 times less toxic than ammonia. Okay, so n glutamate, positive allosteric regulator of carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1, rate-limiting enzyme of urea cycle. Okay, that's it. Not a 24-minute clip, as I mentioned at the beginning here. So, uh, But you need to know this for step one, apparently. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time.